Good afternoon and welcome to NYFP. On this Tuesday afternoon, we are seeing the U.S. stock averages post a strong event with the Dow Jones Industrial Average and S&P 500 at new record highs. Now joining me this afternoon is Peter Costa of Empire Executions. Peter, good afternoon. Thanks for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me, Rem. Well, we're seeing the Dow and S&P 500 touch new record highs yet once again. Right. But given that we have mixed global economic data releases and some talk about a uh, hedge fund manager and his uh, bullish comments on the stock markets, what do you make of today's action? Well, I think that, you know, listening to what David Tepper said this morning, you have to, I agree with him. I've been bullish for the last seven months. Add, you know, add more months to that, but basically I've been very strongly bullish for the last seven months, and I think his points are very well taken. I think that, you know, the Fed will start easing their quantitative, you know, they will start slowing down their repurchases, and the economy seems to be doing okay. I mean, you're starting to see a lot of, uh, not great, great numbers, but the numbers are getting better every time that you see a new set of data come out, and you know what, it only, only shows that the economy in the U.S. is still, still growing stronger than most, and I think that's why you see the market where it is. And Peter, in today's uh, trading session, we are seeing banks as well as uh, financials higher on the session. But given that earnings season has uh, been winding down, have you changed your opinion on any of the sectors? No, I have not. As a matter of fact, I think that having gone through this earnings season and seen that, you know, it was a little bit better than expected, I think what you'll see is the second quarter, we're going to have a, a very modest, modest earnings season. But I think going into the third quarter, that's when you're going to start seeing a pickup in everything. So, you know, this is to me the next uh, three months are probably going to be more about a consolidation. Uh, maybe, you know, continue to make new highs, but nothing uh, significant. And then, you know, as the market consolidates, more money flows into the market, the market start, will have a much better third and fourth quarter, which considering what we've had in the first quarter, is pretty good. And speaking of growth, uh, tomorrow we'll be getting uh, GDP figures, first quarter GDP figures out from the Eurozone, so we'll keep our eyes on that. I guess overall we'll continue to monitor central banks and uh, their policies alongside uh, global fundamentals. Uh, tomorrow, in addition to the Eurozone GDP, we'll get uh, inflation figures as well as regional manufacturing data and right. some industrial production and housing figures. But what uh, numbers will you be paying attention to? Well, I think, you know, seeing the PMI uh, would be it's important and I think going towards the end of the week we're still looking at jobless claims and those numbers keep coming down so uh, you know what it's still we still have a, a significant problem with unemployment and I think the more we see positive numbers in that area the better we will be going forward I still keep my eye on that one you know and anything I get out of the eurozone or from China to me that just makes everyone look at it and say you know what they're, they're slowing. Europe's having problems. Where does the money go? It goes into U.S. equities. So here we are. And last but not least, Peter, before we wrap it up, over in the foreign exchange market, we've been seeing some fluctuation in the Japanese uh, yen recently. Uh, we had the G7 meeting wrap up, and the uh, finance ministers did not oppose the latest uh, Bank of Japan uh, measures. So we did see the dollar yen pair break above the uh, 102 level. Right. And we continue to monitor what happens in commodities, but are there any other trends you're watching out there? Well, I think the commodities, people have gotten hurt a little bit lately, so I'm looking at oil, you know, and I think that that's still significant. I mean, $95 a barrel is, the Saudis love it, the Americans don't, and I do think we're going to see some softening in the oil market, so that's all I'm looking for. That's the main thing I'm looking at. Okay, Peter, well, thanks for your broad overview and analysis of the marketplace, and as always, thanks for all your insight. Thank you.